Hi, this is David with ORS Racks Direct, and uh, we're going to give you a little demonstration and uh, maybe answer a few of your questions about the Yakima Steelhead fork mount bike here. First out of the gate, uh, the Yakima Steelhead uh, is a classic uh, fork mount uh, mounting bike rack uh, that does have um, a couple of really neat features. That's a step up from, uh, say, the Copperhead, but uh, maybe not as few, not maybe not as many bells and whistles as uh, a couple of the higher end fork mount bike racks, uh, such as the Sprocket Rocket and the Viper, which you may want to check out those videos as well. Uh, first of all. Uh, now this fork mount bike rack is only compatible with uh, Yakima round bars and uh, we have a Q tower system on here so uh, with the Yakima round bars on this base rack system. So it's because of this, because of uh, the, the steel head assembly up here will only accept uh, the round bar application. So if you're looking to put it on, if you're looking to put on square tule bars, you're going to have to go with another fork, uh, Yakima fork mount bike rack. Also, uh, any fork mount bike rack, no Yakima fork mount bike racks will work on uh, factory racks. You will have to go with a Yakima upright mount bike carrier, which is the type that you do not have to take your, your front wheels off of uh, to get the bike up there. Uh, fork mount bike racks are nice. Uh, they, 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 hold, they hold the bicycle uh, with using a fork, uh, which uh, is a very strong and sturdy uh, uh, um, Fixed point and um, is very aerodynamic as well, and easy, easy to easy to load because it's right here uh, at eye level as well. So, uh, so now with with the Yakima steelhead, uh, the, the nice features about this are the the, the head assembly, very easy to uh, snap this uh, right on. There's a red a red lever here. I've already pre pre installed it uh, for you, to, but uh, you would just uh, snap this, take this red lever up. And then uh, the bottom part uh, just it just comes together and snap. You just put the red lever down and it's on. Then uh, take the uh, special steel head skewer and place it through through, through the holes. The nice thing about the Yakima fork mount bike racks once the skewer is installed and the bike is on there, a person can't just come along and and flip up this red knob and walk away uh, with your bike rack or anything like that uh, because uh, because this, this the skewer in there actually prevents that. From happening, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place a road bike on the fork mount carrier. I'm just going to drop that right in there. Uh, so as you can see, it just it placed very nicely into the uh, steel head uh, skewer. Uh, and then uh, what, what you're doing here is you're, you're holding this end here, and all you have to do is just uh, just play with this adjustment knob on this side right here, uh, just until you have uh, a little bit of tension, uh, just enough until you're able to just pop that down. I got a, a little bit too much, so I'm going to just release it a bit. And there we go. And now it's on there. And that is not going anywhere. Uh, the nice feature about this is uh, uh, you, you do not have to adjust this every time. Once you have that adjustment down, all you have to do is just release the lever, take the bicycle out. And then when you're going to place it back in, place it into the tray. It's all it already it remembers. It's intelligent like that, and it remembers. And away you go. Come right back to the back of the the back of the bike tray here. We got a real nice ratcheting strap here. Ratchet that down. Works with all types of wheels, deep dish, uh, mountain bikes, uh, kid kid bike wheels. Uh, very nice. Uh, this tray also uh, is. A nice classic tray will accept uh, skinny road tires, uh, fatter mountain bike tires. Will not take uh, ultra fat mountain bike tires like three inch tires. You're going to want to go with, say, the Sprocket Rocket or the Viper uh, for that. Also, uh, this carrier will not work with uh, with uh, disc disc brakes as as well. Uh, the Copperhead does not take disc brakes either. You're going to have to go with uh, the Viper or the Sprocket Rocket. Uh, so, but there are a couple of accessories uh, for this. First and foremost is this bike rack is lockable, uh, the skewer. You're going to take a Yakima SKS lock core and you're just going to place that into the uh, adjustment lever here and with the key and boom, just lock that right in there. It's not going anywhere. I have a six pack here. I just want to show you. I have two bike carriers on here and I also have uh, four Yakima Q towers. So a six pack will lock uh, the four Q towers and also both bicycles in the two bike racks. So you're good to go there. A couple other features, accessories for this are uh, if you do have uh, today's uh, funky, one of today's funky bike forks uh, such as a through axle 
or something like that, then uh, Yakima does make uh, adapters for those. You can find those at the bottom of the uh, Steelhead product page. They also, they also make an adapter for the Cannondale Lefty, which you'll place right in here, and then you just place your fork into the adapter. Uh, also, finally, uh, placing your front wheel onto the Yakima uh, uh, fork, fork wheel fork holder uh, is a nice accessory as well. It just goes right onto the bars. Put your wheel in. It's also got a nice anti-spin device here. Your wheel's not going to spin, so that's nice. So uh, again, this hope I was able to answer a few questions about the Yakima steelhead uh, fork mount carrier. And this is David with OS Rex Direct. Thanks a lot.